Guys, today is a day and I'm literally sitting on my toilet. I'm not going to the bathroom, but I'm sitting here because I don't know what other time I'm going to get alone. But I am so nervous. I am so nervous. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Um, it's almost 6 o'clock. My mom is going to he be here between 6 and 6.15. 6 um, I didn't sleep much. I... Tossed and turned a lot. Um, I kept waking up every couple hours just waiting for my alarm to go off. Um, so our, the game plan today is to get to labor and delivery. We need to check in by 7. And then from there, it's pretty much go time. I mean, they're going to start the induction and kind of let my body take over. And I'm just so flippin' nervous. I'm sorry. I'm excited, obviously, because today is like a huge day. But I'm also so nervous. So like, oh, it's almost like the anticipation of like knowing that like a lot of pain is about to come, which is fine. Like, it's manageable, definitely. Like, it's not the end of the world for sure. I just want it to be like over. <laughs> And I just want to, I just want Hunter, I just want Hunter to be here already, you know. So I'm kind of a mess this morning. <laughs> I guess I'm excited, but I'm also like completely terrified at the same time, so. <sighs> Oh, it's actually facing me, so I can't. But a little 360, I got some ice chips, ice water, hooked up to a monitor over there. That's taking care of all my contractions and stuff. There's my bed. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Everything is going well. They started the Pitocin, is it called? Okay. They're gonna up the uh, look at my face. My self tanner is crazy. <laughs> um, they're gonna up the dosage every half hour. Currently, it is eight. I can tell time eight thirty seven. So, yeah, about eight thirty seven in the morning. We got here at seven and got hooked up. So hopefully he'll be here soon. I'm hooked up to this thing. I don't know if you can see it. So, hopefully soon. 9.45. It's starting to feel something, but I'm still not in pain yet. Light detector. <sighs> it has the contractions on it. There's a thing right there that's printing out with all my contractions. So. It's just us for a minute. I have more visitors coming. <laughs> what an intense labor, but we'll talk more about that soon. But. It's going down. It's getting labor fun. Damn. Oh, baby. So, a little bit of an update. It is 10.25 at night. I have not slept a wink. Um, I got a couple of visitors today from my immediate family. A couple aunts, and cousins, and uncles. Unfortunately, I have to keep a light on all night um, to check his color. But he seems to be doing well. We're just having a hard time um, not crying for more than a half hour. So. I'm gonna try to get some rest, but I'll keep you guys updated throughout the night because I'm sure that I'll still be up. Okay, the nurse just left a couple minutes ago. Um, it's 11 o'clock <clears throat> right now. Gloriously in my robe. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to get a little bit more sleep if I can, but. Mm. Whoa, my goodness. 
Oh, we're gonna have to change you again, honey. <laughs> it's about, um... It's about 2.30 in the morning. Um, we actually slept since the last time I talked to you guys. It's a couple hours. I'm definitely gonna have to change him. I'm giving him um, a bottle right now. I had started breastfeeding and we actually had luck latching. Um, but I feel like I was having the same issue I had with Ella where it wasn't producing. Let me get him changed real quick and then I'll see if he wants the rest of his bottle and I'll keep talking to you guys. We tried, <clears throat> I tried breastfeeding. I got successful latching and successful feeding a couple of times, which was super important to me because I know like the first couple of feeds are like really, really important for the baby. So I was really content on having that. I was trying to continue breastfeeding and it, just, <clears throat> it got to the point where I was like so stressed out I couldn't get him to latch again. We couldn't find like comfortable positions. Like it was just like, it was turning into a nightmare kind of thing. So my husband and I had agreed mutually that we'd be okay to go back to bottle feeding. So clearly that's what we're doing now. Um, and I think that's fine. I don't think, you know, I'm doing anything wrong. Um, I definitely think it's up to every mother and every mother has to make that decision for themselves and for their kids. So, um, so, but ever since we went to the bottle, like he's been able to eat a lot and I've been able to monitor what he's eating and he's like so much more content because before I switched to the bottle, he'd be like fussy nonstop and I'm like, oh my gosh, do we just have another, like a fussy baby? But like, he's been so good. Um, so that's what's going on with that. At the moment, I just have to, like, I have a paper over there. So I have to mark down, like, when he ate, how much he ate. Um, but it's about every, like, average three hours he needs to eat something. So, but I'm assuming in the morning we're going to have, like, I know my mom is going to head over first thing. And, you know, TJ is going to head over after Ella goes to school. So we're going to have a lot of visitors tomorrow. I'm just grateful to get like any sleep. Any sleep is nice sleep. And even the nurses, when the last nurse just came in, she asked, she's like, oh, like, are you guys planning on staying? I forget how she worded it, but basically I told her, I said, well, I said, with my daughter, I said, we only stayed like two and a half days. I said, we stayed the full first day that she was born. I said, we stayed another day which would be like my tomorrow, like day two. And then we stayed half a day to fill out social security, birth certificate, all that stuff. I said, but honestly, I said, I have an antsy five-year-old at home, wondering when the heck I'm gonna be there. Um, I said, so as soon as I can, I said, I don't mean to sound like I'm, I wanna be kicked out. It's just at about 30, so we'll see if he wants any more, but. pretty okay. Just to give you a good burping, buddy. Um, you know, I said I have a daughter who's quite antsy for me to get home. So, so as soon as you guys want me out, look, I'll, I'll, I'll get out. Oh, good pour upon me. Hello, are you trying to see? Good pour upon me. Hopefully that means, because he was born on a Wednesday at 1, hopefully that means that we just have tomorrow on Thursday. And then uh, she was saying that we should be able to get out of here by like 10 on Friday. And if that's the case, then I'm super excited. Hi, big boy. I want a good burp before I put you back. sure his nose is clear to be um, burp cloth, but we're good. 
It's all coming back to me, Bubu. I did this before with your crazy sister. I did this before with your crazy sister. Got a couple like little gifts over there in the corner. Um, I'll probably show you guys that. I don't know, maybe tomorrow night or like, because we there's still a lot of people who haven't come yet. Oh, honey, you trying to lift your head already? Let's try to get this burp out of you, honey. This is his little hand. He's putting his hands out toward his head. Hi, honey. We also ended up putting him, he's like in a sleep sack instead of the baby blanket. Um, it's just, it's so much easier to swallow, swaddle, what the heck is that? Swaddle. I couldn't even think of it at the moment. It's a lot easier to swaddle with the baby blanket than the baby blanket. Spitting up on you, yourself. We just had a nice that second big poop, so I'm sure he feels better. Bless you, honey. I just I feel more comfortable if you burped. If I got a little bit of spit up, I'd feel better. a little bit is all I'm asking for. Alright guys, I'm gonna try to get him back in his little bassinet here and we'll check in again probably between like five and six in the morning if he follows regular patterns. So we'll see. Alright, a little man let me sleep until about 6.30 or 6.20 in the morning. Um, after he's done eating, he just did a a pee. He pooped twice for me earlier, remember? <laughs> um, so he's all changed. I think um, I want to stop at the calf real quick. So I asked the nurse, I said, how does, you know, how does that work? If I want to bring, go, just step down the hallway. So if I left him in here, I would bring her so he's not left unattended, which makes sense. Um, but I, I'm going to bring him. Um, I just have to put him in like a little bassinet crib thing you guys are actually leaning on right now um so we might go on a little adventure in a minute but i'm gonna let my little bubblicious eat i'm just thirsty i just want to kind of fill up my water bottle i'm not very hungry but oh my goodness gracious got um I don't know where the heck like the water and ice was but I found some toast some peanut butter um, and then I just have a little bit of apple juice so honestly not gonna get that much more sleep because I have a visitor when my mom's coming back at 8 30 and it's 6 45 right now so I could probably try to sleep I, but I know my nurse is also switching off at 7 so so I'm gonna try to just have some breakfast real quick. Maybe watch something on YouTube or whatever, but oh my god, my back hurts. But I didn't take any Tylenol or anything. It's just my lower back is sore. So TJ, my mom, and my grandmother came over to visit uh, around like 8 this morning. TJ left about an hour ago to go get Ella. And I'm just now getting around to filming this vlog. And all you guys can hear, the hissing is coming from that vent up there. And I can't turn it off. 
So I'm going to try to fix it in editing as much as I can. Um, but it's kind of unfortunate that that's like all you can hear. But Ella and TJ are going to come back in a little while. I'm going to take a shower. And then we're probably going to call it. I'll probably bring you guys back tomorrow morning. Um, his birth certificate information is in on the desk over there now. The nurse brought it in. So I'm just going to relax and watch some YouTube till they get back. Um, but our time here is coming to an end. And a little love bug. A little love bug. He just had a, his first bath today. And he did not like it. <laughs> not one bit. So it just turned a little past midnight on our last night here. My boy is looking around. Hi, Emmy. It's Mama. Papa. Hi. <laughs> I'm eating some jello. <laughs> um, we just ate a lot. Pretty good amounts. So his belly is full. Hi, Bum. Hi, Bum. Oh. Hi. Today's the day. I do want to pick out um, his coming home outfit and get myself kind of packed up here. I'm actually going to come into the bathroom real quick just to show you guys. Good morning. I've been in my Maryland t-shirt. I took a shower last night, which is really nice. I had my toothbrush, so I am going to brush my teeth. That scared me. I'm going to brush my teeth real quick. Um, I did take a shower, like I said, so my stuff is still in here. I was just letting it sit in here to dry. So I can bring this stuff out now. Hunter did something last night called cluster feeding and my nurse kind of warned me that it might happen that he was waking up originally every like three to four hours for food but last night it was like every two hours. So I didn't get as much sleep <laughs> as I got the previous night but we still woke up about 6.30 and I've been up since so. All right, I got my shower stuff. Again, I'll come back for the toothbrush. Later. Oh, hello. Hello, honey. Put that in here. All this is packed away. Um, we brought in our car seat last night, right there. Um, Cause they kind of do like a passing inspection kind of thing. The only thing that they didn't like is that we had padding in there. That's not like factory padding. So we'll just hold on to this and TJ is bringing in the padding that came with the car seat when he comes this morning. So. This can just be put away for now. Also, you guys will see um, in an upcoming video, I kind of did like a Q&A while I was here. And I showed you guys what like my, my visitors brought me. But I did forget to show that one of my sister-in-laws got Hunter, like this musical moose as well. And... This is empty, so it's gonna be trash. But they also got him some clothes. So I'm just gonna show this real quick before we bring it home. But it's just a little Nike set. And then we have <clears throat> a little fleece pajamas, like space pajamas. And we also have, um, this is a little bigger. I think it's another Nike onesie. So I just want to show that before it was packed away though, but I'm not going to bring the box just so we have less to carry home. Got Ella's iPad. I brought my little tutti fruity bag for electronics. <clears throat> so you can put 
my... Oh, you know what? I just realized I was about to pack up my camera. I haven't filmed like my postpartum body video yet. So I'm going to do that real quick because then I got to pack up the camera. Okie dokie. That's all taken care of. So we're pretty much packed up and ready to go. TJ's on his way. The pediatrician just came in. Hi, honey. Okay. Um, the pediatrician just came in, checked him out. He's good to go. They're doing my discharge stuff. Got lots of uh, bags, so I told TJ to just bring up the stroller so it's easy for us to transport everything. And then I have his little going home outfit ready. So he's got a little hat because it's like 14 degrees outside. He has these little pom pom booties, his hat, a little pair of fleece um, pants, some gloves so he doesn't scratch his face. Um, we got this buffalo thing. I don't think I showed you guys this because we had gone to Target. I think the same day that we got the pack and play um, and I found this little outfit and it was actually on clearance but out of all the outfits that I brought him this seemed to fit the best and that comes with a little fleece jacket as well and TJ is going to bring up his baby blanket so we can wrap that up in here. I was just working on last minute videos editing because I'm losing my mind just waiting and I'm getting super antsy because I want to go home but we're almost done little buddy. Oh man, this is it, honey. They're gonna take this bracelet off of him, but the nurse is coming in to check his car seat. And we're going home. Good morning, everybody. So we successfully had our first night back home. Um, it was pretty stressful just because it's it's like I'm not at the hospital, so I don't have like the on-call help that I had. Like I pretty much know what I'm doing, but. Last night was pretty rough. He was up between like, he let me sleep for a while, but then from like two to 4.30, we struggled. Like he was super fussy. I like literally YouTubed how to calm a fussy baby because he ate, he burped, he pooped like five times. Um, finally, I got him to go back to sleep and he's in his little, um, well, I'll show you guys. So he's comfortably snoozing away right now. Um, but I wanted to end today's vlog because I want to get it up and introduce you guys to him. My house is already a disaster. Um, I'm going to be doing some laundry and trying to play a little bit of catch up today. So, um, but thank you guys so much for this crazy adventure, this crazy vlog, my 500th vlog. And I introduced you guys to my son. So I'm so excited to continue filming and watching him grow just like we did with Ella. So thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new adventures, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.